but that's okay. We could have a discussion. We'll just have a discussion, you know, if you want. Zephaniah 3, verses 8 through 13. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. I think this is an amazing verse because it's all about waiting. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until. This until is so many places. The Apostle Paul uses it. Brethren, concerning the day of Messiah, the day of Christ, and our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind or troubled by word or by letter or by spirit, as if from us Christians that the day of Christ is imminent or at hand. No, don't let anyone deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come until, until apostasy comes first. And we see that everywhere you look today, right? Remember, in my Father's house are many mansions, and if it were not so, well, tell me something. Is it so? Who's occupying them now, these many mansions, unfortunately? You see? Okay. So therefore, I go and prepare a place. Thank God, the, 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 the only place He's preparing could only be the new Jerusalem. Hallelujah. For we look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness, where also our Lord is seated. Hallelujah. So, you see, my friends, that day shall not come until then, and the lawless one be revealed. Isn't this the same one Jesus talked about? The one who makes what? Desolate. You see, spoken of by Daniel? <laughs> Think of that. How slow of hearing, how slow can you be when you take the words of Jesus, the words of Paul, the words of Joel, and the words of most of, who knows, all the prophets, the former prophets, and, and, and come up with clues. It's like nobody knows any day. I mean, you want to convince the world that you got something? Listen, yes, even a child could say, Jesus is coming soon, but they stop saying that now soon. How soon is soon? Any day. Okay, any day. Show me. Show me. You know, that's why they believe in all those false prophets. They've been writing books and tapes and videotapes. On and 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 on. And they keep playing the music. Unfortunately, that if that was the end of it, that would be fine. But what does the Lord say? You pastors? What would you pastors? Who feed themselves. And they tread underfoot the residue. It wasn't enough that they took everything. But then they had to also trample underfoot. <laughs> the only water left for my sheep to drink. This is why Jesus said, strengthen those things that remain are ready to fall. Ready to perish. I mean, that's how bad it is. So apostasy, we see it everywhere. They're taking down the crosses, my friends. Oh yeah, they've been taking them down for quite some time. Say, so, well, okay, we can live without that, or with that, or what is it? Hmm? Okay, you don't like the cross? Well, I don't know what, I'm, what else to tell you. We make peace with God through the blood of the cross. You want to take down the cross off the building? Well, okay, we can live harmoniously with those that get offended. Been there, done that, right? Time and time again. Hey, let's just put a veil over this thing so we can worship our God, which came newly up, by the way. <laughs> just like, for Judah has profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and has married the daughter of a strange God, whom your fathers knew not. 
God's which came newly up. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Therefore, Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Until the day that I rise up to the prayer. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce wrath. And what did he say? You ought to know, all you peoples. Swear not by heaven, for it is God's footstool. Excuse me, it is his throne. <laughs> Swear not. By earth, because it's his footstool. By the earth, because it's his footstool. And swear not by Jerusalem. It is the city of the great king. So when all these nations besiege Jerusalem and the Gentiles are treading underfoot the holy city for 1,260 days, do you not think that the great king is going to take the personal? <laughs> I will avenge myself. I've been quiet for a long time, says the Lord. Now I will arise and put him in safety from him that puffeth at him. For I will lead the blind by another way. When the poor and the needy seek for water, and there is none, and their tongues are parched with thirst, they can't even utter a prayer. And why is it that only the poor and the needy are seeking for water? What about the rich and the famous? What are they doing with the water they have extracted out of the atmosphere? Oh, yeah, they've been selling all these woody inventions even to the princes. Yeah. What happens? Why? Thus saith the Lord, they're going to drink. I will cause waters on the barren heights. I will do a new thing, saith the Lord. Yeah, that's right. Streams in the desert, in the valley of Achor, where there's a door of hope. Where did Jeremiah hide the Ark of the Covenant? What about the clay tablets that the Lord says, put this in jars because you're going to come back to this land. And that's a promise. Yeah, he told Jeremiah, you better take some special jars here, write it on these papyrus, whatever, leather, and you put it here because we're coming back here, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was the prayer of Moses, the first intercessor? Yeah, he was more like a high priest than, 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 than uh, you know what I'm saying? Than a king. He didn't want to be king. He was tired of these people. Lord, those you gave me, remember? But he still pleaded for them to spare them. He lives. Oh, yeah. When they said, who has made you prince or judge over us? Do you remember that? I kept quiet, says the Lord. <laughs> Could you imagine that spirit and that attitude? Who has made you judge or prince of this? I mean, did God have to speak up there? He taught Moses a lesson after he killed the Egyptian, right? He was full of guilt. And it's a good thing he's full of guilt because there's conscience to deal with. Hello? Oh, wait. Oh, Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O captive daughter. Let's pause here.